Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Yesterday, President Moon Jae-in ordered public medical forces to focus on COVID-19 patients and national university hospitals to focus their medical capabilities on severely ill patients. This came as the country sees around the 1,000 mark of severely ill patients and the bed occupancy rate of about 88 percent in the capital region. In line with this, Seoul National University Hospital yesterday announced that it will delay non-emergency operations and reduce demands for intensive care units to secure more beds and manpower for COVID patients. Democratic Party presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung made clarifications of his son's allegations over high school admissions. Attorney Kang Yong Suk from the YouTube channel Karosero Research Institute uploaded a post on his social media questioning the son's eligibility to Hanyang Foreign Language High School. However, Lee's campaign public relations chief, Kwon Hyuk Ki, explained Lee's son applied to Hanyang High School in 2009 before the entrance eligibility were revised in 2010 and stated the son graduated in February 2012. Kang deleted his post as soon as those clarifications were made. The People Power Party canceled their plans to file a complaint against the son of the ruling party presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung. The PPP election committee was planning to lodge a claim against Lee's son for illegal gambling, destruction of evidence, and violating the Sex Trafficking Act. The decision comes as the head of the opposition party's election campaign committee, Kim Jong-in, emphasized his willingness to stop negative campaigning. Finally, the government plans to suspend the current $5,000 limit for domestic purchase of duty-free shops starting March next year. Korean travelers will now be able to buy products in duty-free shops without purchase limits. The government first introduced purchase restrictions for duty-free products in 1979 to control Korean travelers from buying imported products. Since then, the government has consistently raised the limit by $1,000 every 10 years, but finally decided to abolish it. However, the current $600 tax exemption will remain. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, Social Puzzles.